and inside of it they have their air tanks. It's not every day you hear a 10-year-old talk with such authority about the fire department. You know a lot about this so far. Um, yeah, they did a good job explaining. But Nash Reed Bancroft isn't your everyday kid. This winter, he took it upon himself to shovel out his street's fire hydrants in his hometown of Truro, Nova Scotia. My mom told me about adopting a fire hydrant, and if we didn't uh, do it, the firemen, it would take a while for the firemen to get to shovel it out and get the water that they need to put out the fire and save the people. For us, that extra two minutes, three minutes to shovel a hydrant out can be all the difference in the world. It's the difference between a pot and the stove or a fully involved kitchen. His efforts got noticed online and Jeff Brown from this Halifax fire station invited him down for a tour to say thanks. You're a sponge, man. You absorb everything. Pretty soon, he was the tour guide. They just grab it, they hug it, put their legs around it, and they just go down. Nash got to see the old fire trucks and new ones, plus push a few buttons. He knows where the button is for the lights. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and just like a real firefighter, he sat down to a hearty breakfast with the crew. All he had to do for this special reward was put his back into it. I think that makes him a pretty special hero and he deserves to be treated appropriately, I guess. Adopting a fire hydrant isn't Nash's only good deed. He also raises money for UNICEF and his local homeless shelter in Truro. Sometimes the world feels like a really big place and it's hard to know how you can create positive change, but he finds ways to do it and it's amazing watching people recognize him for it. I just want to say that it's not that hard. While he's not sure he wants to be a firefighter when he grows up, the hat seems to fit. Kelly Lanahan, CTV News, Halifax.